Hey everyone, welcome you all to the YouTube channel BC Sanity. Myself, Mayuri from third year C Sanity Agarthal and today I am going to discuss the problem Dora and Sirs that came in code process round 852 division 2. So the problem basically has a permutation, has a permutation of length and and we are asked to find a subsegment such that none of the elements at ends is either the minimum or maximum of the entire subsegment. For example, uh, if we take a look in this test case, here you can see that uh, if I just take this, not this, uh, if I take this subsegment, then the minimum of this subsegment is 2, the maximum of this subsegment is 6, and none of them lies at any of the extremes. That is either in the left side or in the right side. They are somewhere at the middle. But if I take the last test case, here I can see that the minimum is 1, which lies at the right end. And so, uh, like, uh, it is not possible. And if we take any further subsegment of this, you will see that, like, either this or that way, it is not possible. Like uh, the smaller or larger number always exists at any of the left or right ends. So uh, some of the uh, initial thoughts that come to our mind are like, if I take any subsegment of length one, let's say the subsegment has a value of only two, then it is the smallest value as well as it is the largest value and it occurs at the end. So it is not possible. Now, if I take a subsegment of length two, so let's say uh, the values are now two and five, so again, the smallest value will be at one end and the largest value will be at another end. So again, this is not possible. So length of two is also not possible. Now length of three, let's say, um, for example, if I take two, four, five, four, here in this case, it is also not possible because the small value, it is lying at one of the ends. Now, if I take, uh, let's say something of length four, then here you can see that the smaller, smallest value is at the middle, the largest value is at the middle and uh, like uh, so this is a valid one so this is some kind of initial thoughts that come to mind okay like in this way you can form the sub segment now uh, some of the thoughts that come to mind is that like if i have an increasing array like one two three four five then again it is not possible because whichever sub segment we take let's say two three four the smallest value is at the left end the largest value is at the right end so this is not possible if i have to graphically represent the numbers we can just draw a graph line like this uh like this like this where one is this position five is this position similarly if we get a decreasing array like this where five is this position and one is this position again we won't be able to find any kind of uh sub segment here basically five is this point one is this point then let's say this is four this is three i'm just representing them graphically so that we can visualize better whenever we take any sub segment let's say this part then we can see that the maximum point will be at one end, the minimum value will be at other end. So it is not possible. Now, another case is like if it's like a mountain or valley. For example, like if the area is first increasing, then decreasing. Let's say here one, then two, three, then seven, then six, five, eight, five, and four. Now, uh, for sure, like we can't take any segment here or here because of the previous reasons. And if we have to take a segment like this, now we can see that uh, even the largest value is not lying at any of the end, but the smallest value is lying at one end. So again, this is not possible. The same reason, uh, the same reasoning will be applied to a valley. Like if the numbers are like uh, eight, seven, six, then one, two, three, four, and five, like this. So whichever segment we take, uh, it is not possible. So Basically, we need to find a sequence in the form like first increasing, decreasing, increasing like that or decreasing, increasing, increasing, sorry, decreasing again, like such kind of pattern, a like jigsaw pattern or something like that. Now, the thing is like how to find this kind of pattern, like we can't check for every possible sub -eris. So the next thought uh, that comes to our mind is like, what if for example, if I take the uh, example 1, 3, 2, 4, 6, 5, 7. 1, 3, 2, 4, 6, 5, 7. So if I to take the whole uh, sub segment or sub array, like I will check like whether taking the whole sub array, is it possible or not? Here I will see that the smallest value is lying at this end, the largest value is lying at this end. So it is not possible. So what I'll do is like I will eliminate both of these numbers. Then I will get to these positions and then i will see that okay uh three is not the smallest number five is not the largest number or so on uh, so yeah this is a valid case uh, for uh if i take another example let's say one then six 
थ्री टू फोर फाइव सेवन देन आई विल सेट ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी ट्राई टू टेक द होल सबसे होल एरे इज इट पॉसिबल नो बिकॉज द स्मॉलेस्ट नंबर इज हेयर द लार्जेस्ट नंबर इज हेयर सो वी कैन टेक सो विल मूव ऑन टू द स्मॉलर रेंज दिस पार्ट नाउ हेयर द स्मॉलेस्ट नंबर इज एट द मिडिल सो नो इश्यूज बट द लार्जेस्ट नंबर इज हेयर सो अगेन आई कैन टेक दिस वन सो आई हैव टू रिमूव सिक्स देन व्हाट इज माय नेक्स्ट पार्ट माय नेक्स्ट पार्ट इज लाइक दिस पार्ट can i take the uh, this one here the largest number is 5 so it is not possible the smallest number is uh 2 it is at the middle so still it is not possible because 5 is at one end so i can't take this then i will move again remove 5 and my next part is this 3 2 4 here again my largest number is here and uh, so i have to eliminate 4 and the next part is 3 2 so you can see that like it is not possible so what will we do is like we'll check like Whether the smallest or largest number is lying at any of the boundaries. If it is lying at any of the boundaries, then we will remove that and we will try for the next sub array, like the inner sub array, and so on. Like we will continue with this process until we find a valid one. Here you have seen that like after removing seven and one, we have found a valid one. And here you have seen that like we are removing and removing, but we are not getting any valid for any valid sub array. So we will output minus one for this. You can check the code here. Like first of all, um, I've taken the input array here and just used a set to also insert all the numbers. This is because like uh, I want to find the minimum and maximum number that are currently existing in my current sub array. So um, whenever I am eliminating any number, I will remove that number from the set and then I will find the minimum and maximum number from set using s dot begin or s dot r begin. so uh, you can see here like first of all i have found the minimum and maximum here so then i'll see whether any of them is lying at any of the end or like means uh, first of all i'll see that like if none of them is lying at any of the end means the minimum number is not lying at the left or right the maximum number is also not lying at the left or right so if that is the case then i'll break from here because i found a uh, valid one so this basically shows this and then uh, if this is not the case that means like any either the smaller number is lying at one end or the larger number is lying at one end so if the smaller number is lying at one end then i will erase it i will remove it i will increment l plus plus like uh, if my left position is having the minimum or maximum value similarly if my right position is having the minimum or maximum value then i will just decrement r and remove that number so at the end we have to check whether our sub array length is greater than or equal to uh, 4 So for that we need to check like whether r minus l is greater than three. Here I have written one. You can write three here also. So that won't be an issue. Like you can write three here, or even you can write three here also. Like um, that will work. So if it, that is so, then we'll output the required indices. Here I have added one also, l plus one and r plus one because uh because of one based indexing. Else if that's not the case, then we'll out simply output minus one. So that's all for this uh, problem. If you have any doubt, you can ask in the comment section. Thank you.